came for all the girls. She came for all the girls and all of their wallets. Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am revisiting the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Creams, partially because I didn't have my brown liner in the initial video. And I've also found a couple of dupes as well in my own collection of lip products that I think are decent replicas of the Fenty Gloss Bomb creams. So if you guys do wanna see what I found, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get into the glosses that I have for you guys today, make sure that you've seen the initial video that I posted two days ago. I will leave a link in the description box down below. So pause this video, click that link, watch the video, come back to this video, and you know, make sure that you're informed, okay? Make sure that you're up to date with Alice's content, because what are you doing? What are you doing if you're not? Okay, and I'm gonna help you out by having the little card over here or you can click a link in the description box down below and it will take you to the first video. But for those of you guys who have seen my first video, would you believe me if I told you that I had honey waffles on my lips right now? I knew that she had potential, I just had the wrong lip liner because Honey Waffles was giving me clown vibes, I was looking a hot mess. I didn't like how it looked in that video, but I told you, I told you that once I had the correct liner, you will not be able to stop me. I'm unstoppable. And we can all agree that Rihanna did that, but I am aware that these glosses are quite pricey. They are £17 each. And it's a lot. Honestly, it's a lot. As much as I love these glosses, as much as I love Fenty Gloss Bomb, I think I have every single shade but one. I'm not gonna lie. They are pricey, they are. So I did find a couple of products in my own makeup kit that I think either resemble the shades of the Gloss Bomb creams or I think the formula is similar enough that it's just as good. And I wouldn't sit here and lie to you guys because I have no reason to do that. I'm just trying to help people save a buck. But before I go ahead and show you the glosses, I will just show you guys a little bit of a montage of how some of the glosses looked once I found my brown liners. So yeah, go ahead and enjoy this little clip of me with the different glosses on. And then I'll see you guys with some dupes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. When I was thinking of these glosses and an affordable alternative, there were definitely two brands that stuck out to me a lot. And I think for a lot of people, they probably thought the same thing. So I definitely thought to myself, NYX Butter Gloss would be a good alternative to these, as well as the Revolution Sheer Brilliant. If you guys watch my videos, a lot of the time I am either wearing the NYX Praline Gloss or the Revolution Gone Rogue. Those shades are very, very similar. Like sometimes I find it hard to tell them apart, but there is a difference in the formula and you guys will see it when I am doing my swatches and things like that. So the first shade or dupe that I'm gonna be showing you guys is from Revolution. And this is a dupe for the shade Mauve Wives. This is the Revolution Gloss in the shade White Wedding. And honestly, when I look at this, I feel like it's almost exactly the same as Mauve Wives. I obviously don't have Mauve Wives with me because it's not really a shade that I thought that I would like. I have no idea how I ended up with this shade. I honestly think that I got a little bit clicky, clicky, clicky happy during the Black Friday sales because these were like £2 each. And I'm pretty sure I just put every single shade that was available in my basket because I thought to myself, 
why not so i am gonna put a picture up over here of what the mauve wise shade looks like and i'm just gonna hold this up over here so you guys can kind of see the shade comparison you might have to you know take this one with a little bit of a grain of salt because i don't have a shade to compare it to but i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand so this is what white wedding looks like I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on my lips for you guys just so you can see what the shade looks like against my skin tone or against a dark lip because I do have quite pigmented lips so yeah I really don't want to take off this look because honey waffles really honey waffles came for all the girls she came for all the girls and all of their wallets One thing that I will say though straight away is I much prefer the scent of the Revolution glosses. They have this sweet sort of candy smell to them that I absolutely love. And I feel like that's something that I loved about the initial Fenty gloss bombs is that candy like scent that they had. But these ones, the newer ones, have the same scent as the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. Slip Shine Shit. That's not a point. They have the same scent as those. And if you guys watch my review on those, personally, hold on. <laughs> Let me just blend out the lip. Personally, I feel like they smell like washing up liquid, which is dish soap. And I'm just not keen on that smell. And it stops me from using that product because I just can't stand the smell of it. And it's a real shame. It is a real shame that this is what the cream lip glosses from Fenty smell like because I just don't like it it's not it's not the one and I think had they gone with the initial gloss bomb scent the whole collection would have been a win it would have been one of the best products Fenty has launched ever like no cap no cap whatsoever but I digress so this is the shade white wedding and this is what it looks like on me. Now that I've put it on, I don't think that Mauve Wives would be a terrible shade for me. It's just not a shade that I would pick up. If you do have Mauve Wives in your collection, do let me know if you think this is a close enough dupe for it. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of liner just so you guys can see what it looks like with a liner. So I'm going in with the MAC liner in the shade Mahogany. And this is literally because Chestnut left the group chat. I don't know where she went. She ran and never looked back, but that's okay. It's a little bit of a cute moment. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It's a cute moment. There is also a NYX Butter Gloss shade that is very close to this as well. I can't remember the name of it for the life of me because I don't own it. But I will insert a picture or I'll just write the name of the gloss on the screen here for you guys. I like the NYX Butter Gloss, but honestly, in comparison to the Revolution, I don't think there's any contest. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean with the next dupe that I have. So the next dupe that I have is kind of a dupe for the shade Fruit Snacks. And Fruit Snacks is like a deep berry red. And the shade that I have isn't quite the same but this is more so just to show you guys the formula in comparison to the Fenty one than it is to show you guys the color I guess so we are going to do some side by side swatches and we are going to start off with the Fenty so this is fruit snacks and I just want you guys to note the sheen on that and I'm going to go ahead and swatch the NYX butter gloss in the shade apple crisp this one is more of a bright red in comparison. So I'm just going to swatch it there. But as you guys can see, pigment and sheen wise, they're not similar. You'd think they would be. I'm just making a mess now. But the butter gloss is a lot less glossy. Like when I move my hand like that, do you see the sheen? coming off that Fenty. So the butter glosses retail for 550 
and the revolution glosses are four pounds so not only do i feel like the revolution glosses are closer to the fenty they're also cheaper so come on to be honest you can get four of the revolution glosses for the price of one fenty i'm just saying and just to show you guys sort of a sheen comparison i do have a revolution shade here it's a berry shade it's not so much a red it is in the shade rouge i don't know why they've called it rouge when it's not red i thought it was red when i bought it to be fair but that's black friday for you so this is the shade rouge the revolution shade right here is a lot more pigmented than the nyx and it is a lot thicker as well in formula it resembles the fenty one a lot more if you're looking to get something that's very close to the fenty i'll go ahead and show you those shades on the lips as well if you do want to see the fenty shades on the lip then you will have to go to my first video for that just because i don't want this video to be too too long so we're starting with the nyx in apple crisp So this is what apple crisp looks like on the lip the scent of the butter glass as well again for me is better than the fenty cream i'm sorry but i just can't get on board with that scent i can't do it it's just not a formula that's going to work out for me but this is what this shade looks like it's very far off from the fenty shade but like i said again we're looking more at formula in this video because Rihanna kind of snapped with her shades. I'm not going to lie to you. These aren't really like everyday shades that you can just find lying around. Like she picked the basic tones. So browns, nudes, berries. But then she put her own little twist on it. If you know what I mean. Like honey waffles. I've never seen a shade like that anywhere. Even cookie jar. That's a shade that I see out of a lip combination. Like, it's a combination of two products and then you get that colour. So, yeah. But I do believe there is a darker red NYX butter gloss that would probably be closer. The butter glosses themselves, though, have a very creamy, smooth formula that I love. I have, I think, maybe six or seven of the NYX butter gloss in the shade Praline. I found it in America in the mall one day and I was just so scared of it being discontinued that I bought like seven. So I am forever stocked up. But this is how that looks. The formula is a lot more sheer. It's less thick, less pigmented. But it's still a very, very cute moment. And then the revolution in rouge. So this is the Revolution Rouge. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is a lot more shiny, a lot more glossy than the Butter Gloss. This to me looks like it could be a sister to the Fruit Snacks shade. Like if Rihanna extends this brand and makes a hot pink shade, I feel like it's going to look exactly like this. I'm not going to lie to you guys, like... I feel like this is very on brand with Fenty. It looks like one of the liquid lipsticks from their holiday set. I did form a video on that as well. This literally looks like the cream gloss bomb version of that lipstick. And I'm actually really here for it. I think it's a very, very nice shade. I've already kind of talked about the uniqueness of the Fenty shades and that's something that I really love about them because it was really difficult to try and find dupes for these two shades right here. So this is Honey Waffles on the right and Cookie Jar on the left. These are sort of nude browns but Rihanna put a certain undertone in them that makes it hard to replicate but I believe... 
the right gloss with the right liner you might be onto something and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of what i mean so the dupe that i found for honey waffles in my collection was head turner and honestly they look absolutely nothing alike i'm not gonna lie to you guys they don't look anything alike i'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch so there is our girl honey waffles look at look at the shade like where are you gonna find that you're not let's be real you're just not and that is head turner underneath so they are obviously very very different but what i kind of figured out is that if you go in with a liner something similar to the nyx urban cafe i'll go ahead and do a little swatch there for you guys when it sort of blends in with head turner you get a really really gorgeous combo and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys because I low-key fell in love with it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I might have mixed myself up a little bit. Now that I've got it on, it's kind of giving me cookie jar vibes. Like, it's leaning more towards cookie jar just because of the depth in the colour. But you get the gist of what I'm trying to say anyway. I do have a shade that I did liken to Cookie Jar as well. The Revolution shades, there are quite a few of them. And the spectrum in which they change undertones isn't that big, to be honest with you. There are only slight differences between them. So I have gone ahead and swatched this shade on the left over there for you guys. And this is just the Revolution gloss in the shade Fling. And I'm also going to swatch Cookie Jar just below it so those two shades looked similar to me not the same but they looked similar there are definitely some ready undertones in cookie jar that is missing from fling like that brownie red tone that we have going on but do you see what i mean when i say that the lip combo that i have on is giving me more cookie jar vibes i think that brown is what's doing it so this is what thing looks like this is not a shade that i would normally put with a lip liner so i'm just showing you guys what it looks like on its own it's definitely close to cookie jar it just has more of a rosy pinky undertone to it but i think it looks gorgeous on the lip and i feel like this video has gone from a dupe video to just an alternative to the fenty cream gloss bombs for you guys just in case you don't want to spend that much money on one singular gloss bomb so these are just options for you guys i guess that we're doing over here they're options and now i'm going to go on to the fourth and final shade and this shade was the easiest to kind of dupe because it's just such a universal color it's just a nude and Everybody and their mama has a nude in their brand's lip gloss collection or whatever you want to call it. So I do have a few different shades that are very, very similar to Fenty Glow. So I have three shades that I feel like are similar to the Fenty Glow. So I have two Revolution shades in Sugar Coated and Attraction. So there is Sugar Coated. And then we have Attraction. you see how similar those are with just a shift in the tone and then i have a nyx butter gloss in the shade bit of honey when i heard the shade name for this i thought it was going to be similar to honey waffles it is not so this is bit of honey do you see what I mean when I say in terms of the pigment and the formula? It's just not the same. Not even a little bit. So I'm going to build on the next one. Just so we can get an accurate colour. So these are the three shades. And then I'm going to swatch the Fenty Gloss right next to them all. So this is Fenty Glow. How should I do it? Should I do a line going down? Yeah. I'll build on that line. Bear with me. 
So the line going down, this is Fenty Glow. And these are all of the shades that I found that I think are very, very similar. Do you see? Like this one is just a lot less glossy, a lot less pigmented than the rest of them. But this is what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and do some lip swatches of those shades. And I'm going to go ahead and start with Sugar Coated. So this is what sugar coated looks like on the lip and now we're going to go ahead and try attraction it's just slightly deeper than sugar coated it's got a bit more of a deep pinky tone to it which I think I prefer. And finally, we've got that NYX Butter Gloss in Bit of Honey. So here is Bit of Honey. It is less pigmented than the other two that I just showed you guys. And it is less pigmented than the Fenty. So this is what it looks like. So that was the last shade that I had to try on for you guys. This video wasn't so much dupes in terms of the shades. I did try and find similar sort of shades to the Fenty ones to show you guys just so it was more... to enhance the comparison sort of but i think my focus was the formula i think a lot of people when they saw the fenty gloss bomb creams these two formulas sort of came in mind so i did want to get on camera and compare the formulas so you guys could see as it stands the revolution sheer brilliant lip glosses might be my favorite in terms of formula just because of that scent i really 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 cannot cannot with the Fenty scent. If the Fenty had that sweet smell that I love, the Fenty would 100% be my favourite across the board in all areas. It's just the smell lets it down a lot, especially when the Revolution is only £4 and I did get it on Black Friday so it was £2. I hope this video was useful to some of you guys out there. Do let me know what you guys think of any of these glosses if you have them. Just drop a comment in the comment section down below. If you guys would like me to actually venture out and find colour dupes for this product then go ahead and let me know and I will do my best. It's just Fenty, they really went unique with some of these shades so finding a dupe for them might not be as easy as you think but i think it might be doable because you know the internet is a big place thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel once again if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you aren't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and join the alice family thank you to everyone who continues to support my channel i really appreciate the comments and the love that you guys leave on my videos so please keep on doing that I am going to go to bed now because I'm not going to tell you what time it is because I may or may not have posted a couple hours ago that this video was already filmed. I lied. <laughs> it was not. Is it three o'clock in the morning? It might be. So I'm going to go ahead, take off this makeup and take myself to sleep because ciao. <sighs> it's going to be a long day tomorrow because I got to edit this video. I got to upload this video. I got to do a whole lot of things before monday so i'm gonna love you guys and leave you and i'll see you guys in my next video